Hello, in this video we will present you Tavi Analysis software. Tavi Analysis is a CT integrated application for sizing, planning and visualization. It provides automation and guided workflow for efficient transaortic valve implantation planning. We will proceed where we stopped in the video tutorial Tavi Analysis Part 1 and we will start with the aortic measurement step. There are three measurements into this step, the ostia and sinus height, the sinus diameters and the diameters above annulus. The ostia and sinus height are calculated by a semi-automatic measurement. You can select the measurement in the wizard panel. Then you look for the coronary ostium into the views. Once you have found it, you deposit one point at the coronary ostium. The perpendicular measurement of the annulus plane is drawn automatically. To edit the measurement, you select it and edit it as a 2D distance. Now you do the same for the two other measurements, the right ostium and the sinus height. For the sinus diameters, you select one measurement on the wizard panel. Then you draw the measurement from commissure to cusp. You can edit or delete the measurement by grabbing one extremity and right-clicking on it. To access the diameters above annulus measurement, you click on the measurements view button in the diameters above annulus part. The layout is updated and split in three viewports, one 3D view of the aorta, one cross-section view which is an oblique view, one lumen view. You can click on the diameters in the wizard panel, on the left ventricular outflow tract all that measurement in this example. The measurement is automatically deposited in the lumen view. It is always deposited 5 mm below the annulus plane. The sinotubular junction diameter is the minimum diameter of the vessel between 25 mm and 65 mm above the annulus. The same is repeated for the other measurements, maximum diameter and the diameter at 40 mm. To edit the diameter localization, you can grab the extremity of the diameter on the lumen view, and you can move the diameter. You can use the addition tools on the wizard panel to either edit the trace of the aorta or do the section of the vessels. We can go to the calcification volume step. In this step you can obtain the quantification of the calcification around the aortic valve. It shows the calcification volume and the percentage of calcification between the two blue lines on the lumen view. The percentage of calcification is calculated by comparing the volume of calcification with the volume of the vessels. You can edit the blue line by grabbing the extremity. You can also edit the threshold on the wizard panel by moving the slider. You can characterize the amount of calcification between none, mild, moderate and severe by clicking on the radio button, moderate in our example. You can also characterize the anatomy of the aortic valve of the patient between tricuspid and bicuspid. If it is bicuspid, you can also characterize the type of bicuspid between type 0, type 1 and type 2 according to the Sievers classification. It is a tricuspid anatomy on our example. We can now move on to the body surface area step. The height and weight are populated automatically. 
As we are showing an anonymous case, it is not already populated, so you enter the height and the weight of the patient to calculate the body surface area. We can move on to the report step. You can click on the icon to open the summary table. All the measurements are gathered in the summary table. You can create a report in PDF to the Filmer or export to database. You get a report of several pages in PDF. You will retrieve all the measurements that were performed, as well as images. You can save and send the report if needed.